everyone. I have been working on some fun projects over the last couple of days, so I thought that I'd share it with you. Done. I've taken the insert out of a book and I've painted the inside of the hardback cover and then I've done the same with the front and I've painted some abstract ladies and used some bubble wrap to create some embellishment around it and it was a heap of fun so I thought I'd give it a go on a manila folder and it turns out that it worked quite well so I'm going to paint another one today and I thought I'd show you how I did that so I've taken a regular manila folder and I've folded over the bottom inch and a bit taped the sides and it creates a pocket so that paperwork can't slide out anywhere and then I've gessoed the outside of my manila folder and now I'm just going to start painting so I've chosen just some colours that I like um, not for any particular reason just because these are ones that I really tend to favour so I thought that I'd show you how much fun it can be there's no skill level required here this is something everyone can do um, so why not give it a go? You can either follow along or watch it and perhaps make one later or something. Whatever takes your fancy. So I'm just going to put some blue in here. I'm using phthalo blue. It's probably my all-time favourite blue. And then I'm not going to pre-mix on my palette. I'm just going to mix as I go. Add some yellow. It's just a primary yellow, it's a Matisse colour. I love doing simple projects like this that are just fun, it's really restful I think for your mind just to escape now and again and not have any not have any stress. So these are definitely colours that I absolutely love. And because I'm going to come along with some bubble wrap later, I really don't need to blend anything. Just mixing colours around. You're just going to see little bits here and little bits there. Now I do like to keep my corners quite dark. I find that that sort of frames up your painting a bit. Now we're going to take some blue and I'm going to do another, another lady. So it's going to give an idea about where her face is going to be. And then I'll take some white. I'm not going to clean my brush. I'm leaving all of the colour on there. I've just picked up a bit of white and I'm just going to smooth this in and make her face you can be as precise as you like you might like to add different colours here and give her a more natural skin tone but for me I'm just after using all of the same colours that are on my palette the less I have to wash my brush the drier my manila fold is going to stay. It gets a bit crinkled because of the, the moisture content from the paint and the gesso, but a crinkled folder doesn't really bother me. I, I like the finished product. So now I'll go back to picking up some dark here for her hair. And you can make her hair however you like. It doesn't have to be a particular way. What I will do now is put in just a bit of a paler colour here for her neck. And you can even get in and use your fingers to blend. I love using my fingers when I'm painting to blend the acrylic paints, I think is heaps of fun when you get dirty and get a bit of paint on you. Not everyone's like that though, so that's okay. Each to their own. some darks. 
and put some dark in here for her hair. So we're going to use all of the other colours as well in here for her hair to pick up some, some extra colours. Now this is very much an abstract feel, there's no, no perfection, it's just, just colour. Sometimes I think we get a little caught up in things that should be right or should be certain ways and people tend to forget that it should also be fun. So when I do art classes I find sometimes people are a little nervous at, at being given so much freedom to paint what they feel rather than what I tell them to paint. But that's okay. Everybody has to do their own painting and learn their own way. So I'm just going to add some white. Now you can use the back of your brush and pull through some of that background colour as well. If you like, you might want to add some texture. I might put some of these colours around the background too, I think. Now I'm going to use some bubble wrap. Now I've used this heaps before, so it's got lots of <laughs> lots of colour on it already. And then what I'm going to do is just take some of my colours and smear it onto my bubble wrap. I don't really have a, a particular way of putting the colours on. Wherever they land is fine. Doesn't matter if they blend a little. We're going to um, We're going to use this to create a background and make it a bit more interesting and vibrant. So just squish it down, peel it off. Now it doesn't matter if we get bits of this in her hair, <coughs> excuse me, as long as it doesn't take over her hair, it'll be fine. And to do edges, <coughs> oh excuse me, you can just fold it over a little bit. and use your hand inside as your guide. You can have as much or as little as you like on here. You can go over parts if you like and just set that aside. Now I'll paint the, <coughs> the back of the folder, just picking up more paint. So you can choose to do something different on the back, like I did with my first one where I've got the vases on the back, or bars on the back and the lady on the front, or you could do another another lady like I've done in the book, where I have the two, or you can do whatever you like on here, I mean, paint a bird, paint a sunset, whatever it is that you like, I mean, it's your folder, you're the one who has to be happy, and it's really important with art, so you need to remember that you don't have to go out to please everyone else. At the end of the day, if you're happy with your work, it's really all that matters. So just slap it on. I'm going to use some, some nice pale blue. It's a Liquitex colour. I can't think what its name is. some yellow here and pushing some green and I'll do another bars. And I'll just make a simple little bars here and see where it goes. white. And I'll pick 
us and heal her. This is very, very much abstract and all done with one brush, so there's no variation. And once I've got all of the stems in, I can come in and put in some flowers, just with a bit of colour. a bit of blue here just to put in some, some darks. I don't really want to add any extra colours. You can mould up our vase a little bit more here I think. Pick up some dark and anchor it. It can be a, a pretend table or whatever. You know, and, and that's about it. Just a little bit of white here and there just to highlight it. Very much simple piece. But it's heaps of fun and I think that everyone should just pick up a brush and give it a go because you'd be surprised at what you can do. But here's another one anyway. So you can sign this. You can spray it with a, a clear varnish to protect it a little bit. You could probably, if you're really, really brave, even contact it with that sticky clear adhesive to protect it a little bit. But you want to be careful not to get too many bubbles. So I hope you've enjoyed watching what it is I've been playing with over the last few days and if you'd like to let me know if you make one, my email is artbylee at hotmail.com. That's Lee, L-E-I-G-H. And I'd love to hear from you. All right, have a great day. Bye.